And what you have in front of you here is an eighth inch thick diamond plate corn spreader. So I came up with this idea when my stepdad was complaining about having to get in and out of his truck to shake one of these to get all the corn to come out of it. So I thought to myself, well, why don't we make the bottom round? So I made the bottom round on the bottom. That way it all runs to this one hole in the middle. He would also tell me that he hated getting in and out once he made it to wherever he was putting corn out. He hated how he had to get out and open this up. So I made, I made a, put a drop plate on it. That way he never has to get out of the pickup. The thing is, I also didn't want any wires running into the cab of the truck. So I did everything wireless with wireless remotes. As you can see here, it runs your lights and it runs your spinner. I spent 112 hours on this project and it weighs 112 pounds. I did the math and found that two bags of corn is 3,839 cubic inches. This project is 3,871 cubic inches. That's a 32 cubic inch difference, which puts it right on the money. There's no added or wasted weight. And this is my 15, or sorry, 1950 Parmall Cub. Uh, it took me about four months. It's a 10 horsepower, and um, this is one of my last shows with this thing, and I'm very excited to come out and just test out my showmanship skills and show off everything that all the work I put into this tractor. The hardest thing is definitely uh, just being able to find the time to get all the work in because you have one calendar year, and this one we start a little bit later, so we only had about four months to finish it, and it's just squeezing in every last every bit of time to get all the work done. Me and one of my other classmates, we worked on it all throughout last year. He's actually graduated, so he's not able to be here at this show, but um, I'm still showing it off at the last few shows I can this year. I, I'm gonna go to State Fair this year. Uh, it's in the 18th, it's um, later this month. This is our gate for our egg barn. Here we got our, here we got our two by two by, 14 gauge square tubing. We cut four of them at eight foot and two, uh, another four at four foot. And here we got our 10 gauge strap, flat strap that we use to hold down our bended pieces. This is a one by one square tubing. We use, we use the torch, we made a little jig, use the torch to twist our, hopefully we may use our own jig to twist these. And then we use them, the strap to hold it down a little better. These are 12 inches apart, each one. Here we got our one by one and a half uh, angle iron to hold in our fence pickets. And here we used our animals. It's gonna go around the front. Our animals here, we used our CMC machine at school to make our animals to cut. And we used a Lincoln welder 256 with the 035 wire 